Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I'm going to react to the new Cisco certification roadmaps. I just saw a video from David Bombal. If you don't know him, I mean, of course you know him. He's the GOAT. Greatest of all time! He actually made a beautiful video with an executive from Cisco explaining the new changes they've made to how they're going to be releasing new versions for the Cisco certification exams. And I'll tell you what I think about it at the end because this is a big deal. But before getting into that, let me talk a little bit about the Cisco certifications. For those of you that are not aware of it, or that are trying to take one of the Cisco certifications. Cisco is a big tech company specialized in hardware and software for companies or enterprises around the world. And they provide certifications that are really respected in the industry. These certifications can make you start or boost your career in the tech industry just because they are very thorough and the different certification exams come at different levels. The first level is the entry level and then we have the associate level followed by the specialist level, the professional level and the expert level. To go a bit deeper in these different exams, for the entry level, we have the certification called the CCST or the Cisco Certified Support Technician. You can get this certification in two fields. The first one is cybersecurity and the second one is networking. This is just an entry level certification that will teach you all the basic notion or concepts you need to know about these two areas here, security and networking. And then beyond that, we have the associate level where one of the main certificates is the Cisco Certified Networking Associate or the CCNA. The CCNA is one of my most recommended certification. I recommend it to everybody. I throw it at everything. It changed my life and many other people. This is one of the certifications that can bring you from zero to engineer. Actually, I have a course on my website on kbtrains.com. I help you get the CCNA. I cover everything from the exam blueprint and the course objective. So that course will help you go from zero to engineer, start a career in the tech, or even boost your career if you're already inside. The cyber ops associate, more focused on the cybersecurity or cybersecurity operation. And then we have the DevNet associate. For the professional level, we have the CCNP Enterprise and we have many other fields or verticals like the CCNP Collaboration, CCNP Data Center, CCNP Security, Service Provider, Cyber Ops Professional and DevNet Professional. Then for the CCIE or the Expert level, we have the CCIE Enterprise. It actually matches what we have for the CCNP, CCIE Enterprise uh, Collaboration, Data Center, Security, Service Provider. We also have the CCDE or a Cisco Certified uh, Design Expert. These are many certifications that you can get from Cisco. If you want to go a little bit over the CCNA, for example, you can see that the exam you have to take has the code of 20301. That is the name of the, the exam. And one of the main thing with the new roadmap is that the exam code is not going to change. For example, we had before, I think we had the CCNA 200201 or something like that. And in February 2020, Cisco announced the 200-301. And if you want to see the exam topics, you need to come here. By the way, all the links will be in the description. So if we come here, we can see the exam topics for the CCNA. This is the web version. Or we can just go down here and download the PDF for the exam. This is the blueprint. This is actually the main document you need to have when you start your certification journey, when you want to take the CCNA. In one of my videos where I was giving you some tips on how to take and pass or how to study and pass the exams, the first thing is to get the blueprint because this is what's going to guide you on what you have to know. This is the CCNA 200-301 version 1.0. This is the first version of this exam. And in the future, Cisco will be changing this blueprint. They will be adding stuff and removing some old one. And the future versions of the exam will have the exam code, but the version number will be different. If the changes are less than 20% of the content of the exam, that is a minor change. That is a dot revision. And so we will go from version 1.0 to the version 1.1. This is a minor change. But if the change is too big, if they change more than 20% of the content of the exam, that is going to change the first numbers. So it's going to be the version 2.0, for example. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like this on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep in touch and to see the behind the scenes and everything that I do here. So let's go back to the roadmap. So what Cisco is gonna be doing now is updating the exam 
every year. At least reviewing the exam every year. If there's no update, they will skip for that year and we go to the next. The process will go in three steps. The first one is to review the technology or to review the content of the exam because the content that you are getting certified on need to match what is needed in the industry. That's why I like certification so much, even more than a college degree, for example. When you have a college degree, it's four years and stays in the past. But with certifications, you need to keep up with it. You need to be in the field, you need to be in the industry and know what's happening. So if you took the CCNA, for example, after three years, you need to renew your CCNA or within the three years before it expires, you can go up to the specialist level or the professional level. So it's being reviewed every year now. And if there's a change to make, the blueprint will be changed. And then we're going to have some release note. I'm going to show you the release note uh, very soon. So we're going to have release note showing us what changed for that exam. And then after the review, Cisco is going to announce that publicly. They're going to give three months for the entry level, the associate level, the specialist and the professional. And for the CCIE, they're going to give six months before publishing the changes. And down here, we have a calendar that Cisco is following. They go by quarters that are defined by Cisco. They are different from the actual um, calendar. Q1, for example, goes from August to October. So in Q1 for 2022, they are going to review the data center and collaboration technology. In Q2, they're going to start reviewing the security and enterprise, and then they're going to announce the data center and collaboration. In Q3, they're going to start reviewing the service provider and the CCNA. They're going to announce the security and enterprise, and then they're going to publish the data center and collaboration. And down here, we can see some upcoming changes that are on their way. We can start here with collaboration. You can see that the core exam for collaboration is going to change in April 2023. It will go from the version 1 to the version 1.1, as well as these different concentration exams. If we come back to the enterprise, you can see that on September 20, 2023, the Encore exam is going to go to the version 1.1 and all these different concentration exams will change too. And here we have a new concentration exam for the cloud. We can take a look at the blueprint here. Let's see what we have there. It's called Designing and Implementing Cloud Connectivity version 1.0. This is actually the content of this exam here, which is uh, pretty good. So you can be um, CCNP Enterprise certified concentrated on the cloud technology. And if you want to see the release notes for the CCNP, you can go on this link here. This is a document showing you all the changes that have been made to the exams. Let's go down to the Encore exam. You can see that here they show you the version 1.0 and the version 1.1. You can see all the changes that are going to happen. This one, for example, has been removed. Differentiate between on-premises and cloud infrastructure. This is removed. But if you look here, this has been changed. So you went for enterprise network design, such as TO2, TO3, and fabric capacity planning, to high-level enterprise network design, such as TO2, uh, two-tier, three-tier. Uh, did I say TO2, TO3? All right. Um, three-tier fabric and cloud. So I feel like this one went from here to there. And you can get the release notes for every change and you will know where you stand. Mostly if you are studying, you know exactly how to proceed with your studies. And for the CCIE, we also have another version coming on September 20th, 2023. And you can see the release note here and the exam topics right here. So what do I think about this? This is a beautiful thing. This is something that is going to change the way we look at the certifications. Instead of waiting for three to five years and then dropping a new exam and a new blueprint, Cisco will be changing the content every year in the blueprint. That is perfect. That is good for someone who's studying, for example. And if the change is less than 20%, it's going to be pretty much a little change or some more things that you have to learn or adjust. If it's over 20%, you will still be fine because Cisco goes from the same blueprint and they just change things inside. And the concepts will still be the same. It's not going to be like the new version will be a different beast. It's going to be networking, security or cybersecurity or whatever. But you know and you are sure that you are studying the latest things in the field or in the industry. And that's something that is very encouraging. And if you bought a book, for example, you bought a 200, 301, and then there was a new version that came, you don't have to throw away the old book because it's still relevant. Most of the stuff on the new version is still there. You just have to amend the book 
and get some few topics that are being added to the last version. And if you have videos, for example, if you signed up for my course on kbtrains.com, when there's a new version coming, I will be adjusting the course to add those new topics that are in the new version, add them to the course without any problem. So there is an easy way here to adjust for content creators or for people that are helping others. We don't change the exam code, that's a good thing. And we are gradually upgrading the blueprint. If you are studying for the CCNA or for the Encore exam, for example, keep an eye out for those changes. When you see the changes, go and update your study material. All right, guys, that's what I think about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.